It's been an unorthodox journey from the mean streets of Melbourne to the stage of the Sydney Opera House for Stephen Smith. At 15 he left home and found himself living on the streets, often going hungry, sleeping rough or seeking refuge in youth, shel youth shelters with stints as a fruit packer, flower seller and courier driver. Now at 32, Stephen Smith is considered a rising star and is performing in Opera Australia's Melbourne season of a streetcar named Desire. Lisa Whitehead reports. On one hand, you know, you don't really know if anything's ever going to come, come of it. On the other hand, you, um, you have dreams of, you know, hitting the, the, the top of the industry. Even then. Lyric tenor Stephen Smith didn't discover his love of music in the school choir or by learning an instrument as a child. His journey to becoming a professional singer and performing with some of opera's most respected artists began on the streets of Melbourne when he was 15. I found music as a homeless teenager. There are a lot of ways you can go when you've got a lot of time on your hands and um, luckily the group that I fell in with were into R&B and hip hop and all these sorts of things and um, I really enjoyed that. We'd spend our time rehearsing down on St Kilda Beach or wherever we were, just walking around town singing and practicing our dancing. As a child, Stephen Smith barely knew his Samoan mother. He grew up in a foster family in Melbourne until he moved to Western Victoria at the age of 10 to live with his father. My father was a lot older than me. He was 57 when I was born and so we had quite a, a generation gap. Um, he was always good to me but you know, as a, a teenager who's pushing boundaries, I, I didn't appreciate that. At 15, Stephen Smith dropped out of school, leaving the country town of Port Ferry for the bright lights of Melbourne. But the reality of big city life was tough. With no job and no support, he was sometimes forced to sleep rough or find a bed wherever he could. We used to come down here, um, I used to live in a squat, just, just next to the station. We used to come up to the station uh, several times a day with a little cup and we'd jump down on the tracks and we'd pick up all the cigarette butts and go home and smoke them. <laughs> we basically used to steal food a couple of times a week. You know, you'd take the, take the donuts from outside the cafes at five in the morning or um, knock off a pie from the, from the service station up the street. But we didn't eat much and we didn't eat often and I lost a lot of weight. But there was no shortage of food on hand when Stephen Smith eventually found his feet and discovered his voice at the age of 17, working as a fruiterer in David Jones. We would just sing along with Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin. It just comes out like three times bigger than everybody else. And he has this deep voice that, that echoes in the food hall. Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Start spreading the news. And one of the girls I used to work with, uh, her name was Leanne, she told me that I had a beautiful voice and suggested that I get lessons and I was quite open to it and she sent me along to her teacher. She showed me Pavarotti singing Nessun Dorma and you know the, the power in these voices and the, the passion, the, these heartbreaking stories. Um, for a kid who'd been through a bit, um, I really connected with them and, and it just gave me this wonderful outlet and something to aspire to. Maria. One year later, the Victorian College of the Arts saw his potential, granting him entry to the Bachelor of Music solely on his audition. I was a long way behind to start um, and it was very difficult. Um, you know, I had a voice but I had no musical training at all. But he was a quick learner. While selling flowers and packing fruit to support his family, he completed the three-year course and had started his honours year when he had to make a heartbreaking decision. It was singing all the family and I decided that, um, well, there really wasn't much decision there at the time. It was, it was the family and, and that's what I did. So I left singing and I, uh, I bought a van and worked as a courier driver for a couple of years and uh, tried to turn my mind away from singing. It's the paper, ma'am. But he couldn't resist the pull of Pavarotti forever. After his marriage broke down, the first thing he did was make contact with his old singing teacher. Within oh, probably two or three months, I was getting corporate work with the three waiters. And uh, very soon after that, I was, um, had my first professional opera. And within six months, you know, I'd given up the, the day job full time and 
I haven't had to have one since. Oh, it's an extremely unorthodox journey, and um, he's a wonderful young man. Um, uh, coming from the background that he comes from and uh, the experiences that he had like that. and to <laughs> achieve what he's already achieved is remarkable. He's toured regional Australia with Oz Opera, performed in the Mikado at the Sydney Opera House and is now a member of Opera Australia's Young Singers program. I'm collecting for the evening star. Stephen Smith is currently performing in the Melbourne production of A Streetcar Named Desire. Acclaimed filmmaker Bruce Beresford is directing. And Steve, your glances can be shorter. I thought you, okay. you did it very well because it was simpler and more straightforward and sort of... Um, it had that sort of college boy naivety which, mm -hmm. which we look at. No thanks, no thanks, can't drink on the job. It's a long way from Street Kid to this production of Street Car. Stephen Smith is now in a good place. He's reunited with his mother and remains close to his two sons. And he's found his home in the world of opera, where at 32 he's considered a young rising star with a big future. I was walking home um, from the opera house one day across the Harbour Bridge in my tails and um, it struck me just how far you know, I've come. It wasn't until I found something that I wanted to do that I really started my journey and I'd encourage any young person, you know, find what you love and, and go with it. That report from Lisa Whitehead.